what's good y'all it's your girl nate back at it again with another video and as y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail y'all already know that we finna get into some bullshit so like look i'm gonna just say this at the beginning part of this video so that i go ahead and get it over with y'all know that i don't really get into people's business that i be having enough shit going on to the point where i don't really feel the need to care and get into other people's business about what the fuck they be having going on but since this vlogmas since i've been being consistent since it's just been so much shit going on i just decided fuck it why not why just not why not use vlogmas as an opportunity to just give y'all some content that y'all would never normally get from me you know sorry this damn sun keep going in and out but you know just use this as an opportunity to give y'all some content that y'all would never really get from me because i don't really have the time or the energy to spend caring about other people and what they really got going on and especially not enough to bring it to my youtube channel my platform to talk about it but um girl i just feel like paris i just feel like i just need to holla at you sis real quick because the way that you out here looking the shit that you out here doing somebody really need to tell you that you are a fucking psycho like i'm sorry somebody really need to tell you and like i said i don't really know everything about what's going on so it probably ain't my place to tell her but bitch i'm gonna do it in this motherfucking video okay I'm going to do it in this video. So if you is somebody that's coming from Paris channel and you clicking on this video because you see what the fuck I'm going to talk about, don't get in my motherfucking comments trying to talk no shit, okay? Because, bitch, I will blast your ass in these motherfucking comments, okay? I will read all of y'all bitches, okay? Please don't get in my motherfucking comments doing that shit because I will cuss each and every one of y'all the fuck out okay if you don't want to hear my opinion if you don't want to hear how i feel if you don't want to hear what the fuck i got to say then don't click on it because i'm telling you right now don't get in my comments with no bullshit because this is my channel this is my opinion this is what this video is about it's about me my opinion how i feel from the outside looking in not knowing anything about what the fuck is going on and this is just my opinion so comment like subscribe follow me out on my social medias and we finna get into it all right y'all so like i said um this finna be um like a little smoke session i'm just finna smoke my damn blend i'm finna just talk my shit a little bit because honestly so first i'm gonna start off with saying obviously i am on the outside looking in i don't know keisha jeremy ashley paris d his mama her mama none of them i don't know nothing i don't know them personally at all not at all um but i will say that i have been subscribed to keisha since i have been subscribed to keisha since she was with her ex-girlfriend nasia i believe i found them like right before they broke up and I have subscribed to her. So I have been subscribed to Keisha for a while. Um, I'm not really going to run down the whole timeline. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So like I was saying, um, I don't um, directly know any of the people involved in this situation. I am just speaking from the outside looking in. Um, y'all know that like I said in the beginning in my intro that I don't really talk about other people's issues and problems especially when it comes to me and my platform and my channel because my channel is about me and I just don't feel the need to have to get on here and talk about nobody else but This drama has been circulating on YouTube for over a year now. And it's just like, at this point, it's just like, how long am I going to continue to ignore it and act like I don't see the shit? And obviously, my supporters and stuff want to know my opinion about the shit. Um...
I have came on platforms as such as Instagram when I was on live and I have kind of spoke about my opinion on the situation when it comes to there and that platform. But um, honestly, this video doesn't really have anything to do with Keisha. It's more a video like directed towards Paris, which is why I said in the beginning that if you are somebody who watches Paris and support Paris, that you're probably not going to like my opinion. You're probably going to not, not like what I'm about to say. But from the outside looking in, Paris, at the end of the day, no matter which way you try to flip it or spin it, girl, you look crazy. You look obsessed. You go to the ultimate maximum to include yourself in some drama and some beef that honestly didn't have anything to do with you. You don't know these people. You didn't know them before this shit happened. You invested yourself into something that didn't have nothing to do with you. And you felt the need to go out of your way to contact these people that you don't know. Claiming that you're friends with Ashley. Ashley is not your fucking friend. If Ashley was your friend, she would tell you that you need to get a fucking life. And that you need to stop sitting on YouTube every day putting Keisha's name in your title every day, making a video about her that's 45, 50, an hour long video about this girl every day. You put this girl in your title of your video every fucking day. You talk about her every day of your life. You don't get tired of talking about her. You don't get tired of talking about her every fucking day. You don't have nothing else to talk about. Your life is that pathetic and that boring that you have to talk about this girl every fucking day. You are literally the definition of obsessed. Hey, Alexa, play obsessed by Mariah Carey. Like, sis, you are fucking obsessed. You are a weirdo. like you talk about this girl constantly but then claim that you're not bothered by her claim that she's boring that you don't watch her content that you don't do this you don't do that since it's obvious that you fucking watching because if you wasn't you would not be doing this shit it's obvious that you be watching her shit you don't have to lie we know you be watching it girl you ain't got shit else to do but to watch it so, of course, we know you watching it. You don't got to get on here and cap to us. You don't got to cap and tell us that you don't be watching her shit. Girl, we know you do. The amount, the as much time as you spend talking about her, we know that you be watching her shit. We know, and she know too. Why, like, you're fucking weird, bro. You're literally obsessed. You get on here trying to say that Ashley is your friend and all these people is your friend. They're not your fucking friend, bitch. You sit on here. You make videos talking about this girl. You allow people to get in the comments of your videos, talk about this girl and her fucking kids. And then you claim, oh, well, I can't stop everything. Yes, the fuck you can. Then turn the fucking comments off. If you see... That there is people and there is multiple people in your comments saying negative things or things that could be taken negatively about this girl kids when they're innocent and they haven't done shit wrong. Why you just won't turn the comments off then? Since you claim that you don't have time to go through all the comments and look at them. Bitch, you have time to sit on fucking live for an hour or two every day to talk about her, but you don't have a lot, but you don't have time to go through a hundred fucking comments and delete the ones that's negative talking about about her kids. You don't got 20 minutes to go do that, but you got two hours to sit on live and talk about her every day. Does that make any sense? <laughs> 
that makes no fucking sense to me at all can somebody explain that to me like i just don't get it you won't cut the comments off but you get on your platform and you allow people to feel like they could even talk about her you think that anybody in the past that i never got on my platform and done talked about in a story time or something because they done did some fuck shit and done fucked me over you think that i sat in there and let people in my comments go and harass them i said fuck no i will cut my comments off first before i let you go and bash somebody in my comments and it's not because oh i'm scared or oh i want to fuck with them again or oh we that cool and i didn't mean what i said or none of that it's just a simple fact that y'all not y'all don't y'all would never get on my platform nobody that i talk about my followers would never feel like it's okay to go attack their character and go attack their children and attack their family members you allow your subscribers to think that that shit is okay and then you let them put it in your comments and then you come up with bullshit excuses about why you can't cut the comments off and why you can't delete it And it's just so crazy to me because it's just like, bro, do you not know that doing shit like this will get you beat the fuck up in real life? Like, girl, do you not know it was, if it was me, I would have been at your motherfucking door right now? Like, bitch, I would have caught a flight just to beat you the fuck up. Like, I'm sorry. I would have caught a flight just to beat you the fuck up. Because a bitch like you, you're not going to learn until I fuck you up. Like, you're not going to learn until I beat your ass. And I would have been caught a flight to beat your ass. And then you could get on live when you in the hospital telling everybody that I beat your ass for two hours. Okay? That's what you could do. You could get on live for two hours and talk to everybody in the hospital about how I beat you the fuck up because you won't stop speaking on me. And I done warned you multiple times to shut the fuck up and you ain't learned yet. So I had to catch a flight to really show you that I'm not that bitch. Okay? People get fucked up in real life for doing shit like that, for talking about people, kids, for playing with people, family. This is girl, real ass fucking life. This is this girl, real ass kids that she had, that she was pregnant, that she went through. And you up here defending fucking Ashley. What the fuck is you defending her for? She knew. I ain't trying to hear that bullshit. They had a whole ass public ass YouTube channel. They got on their fucking YouTube channel, on Keisha's channel, and said that they was planning to have a baby after the miscarriage. They was tracking her ovulation. They was intentionally trying to get pregnant. He just didn't know it was twins. And then you mean to tell me that Ashley believed him when he said, or he went and told Ashley, oh my God, like, I just found out she having twins. I don't know how to deal with this, blah, blah, blah. You was intentionally trying to get her pregnant after y'all had the miscarriage. Now you claim that because you have a twins, you don't know how to act and you went and fucked on Ashley. And then you got her pregnant. Like, Jeremy, how fucking disrespectful is you to go get this fucking girl pregnant? knowing damn well that Keisha was at home and while she was pregnant she told you you know what you looking at other bitches well you could go do you and cause I don't need to be stressed out I'm pregnant I got enough going on so you could do what you need to do and I'm gonna do what I need to do and be good and then he still came and slithered his ass back in there and then did some more fuck shit but at the end of the day like I said Keisha understood that if she has to accept Jeremy, if she's willing to forgive him after he fucked her over, because at the end of the day, his loyalty is to her, her loyalty is to him. They was the ones in the relationship. Ashley don't owe her shit. But if I come to you as a woman and we have a fucking conversation and you look me in my face and you tell me, yeah, I don't want your man. I don't want him. It happened. It is what it is. We fucked. It happened. But I don't want him. I don't want to fuck with him. I don't want to do nothing. I'm going to let y'all be. I understand. Y'all finna be a family. Y'all was a family before I came into the picture. I will. I just want us to co-parent and it be everything. And then 
a week later you behind my back trying to text him on the low or trying to send him some shit yeah bitch i'm going to be mad at you it's not about you on me loyalty it's about the fact that me and you had a conversation face to face woman to woman and you told me that you didn't want my nigga and then you went behind my back and still did some snake shit after you had a conversation with me when you could have kept it a band with me in my face when we had the conversation then you damn right now bitch i'm now i'm mad at you now i want to fight now now bitch i want my round okay that's where the fuck Ashley fucked up at. She should have kept the shit real. If it was what it was and Jeremy was feeding her all of this shit and blah, 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 she should have said it in. She shouldn't have waited to go on live with Hazel to post a video of screenshots of her and Jeremy having conversations when she sat down in front of Keisha and told her that she didn't want him. She told him that she didn't want him. They met up June of last year. She was still pregnant. Ashley made that video with Hazel January of this year, right? It was something like that. It was like at the beginning of the year, this year. You had already met up and told this girl that you didn't want her man and it was an accident and all this and you was going to let them be a family and then you get on live Tan messages talking about what he was feeding it to me he made me believe that he didn't want to be with her why you didn't tell her that then why you didn't say that then when y'all had the conversation i'm not getting it i'm not understanding and then Paris, you get on here defending her like somebody asked you to be somebody's spoke person. That's a grown-ass woman. She knew exactly what the fuck she was doing. She don't need your old ass to get on here talking shit when you don't even fucking know shit. And you look deranged. You look fucking deranged. Like, you are literally fucking the definition of obsessed. Like, I'm telling you, this shit is scary. It is really scary that she has to go through this shit it's actually sad like it's sad that all this girl want to do is just be able to live her life and post her life and enjoy her shit and she has to go through shit like that from these fucking people on the internet the shit is wild to me like it is really wild to me like girl if this is what it's like when y'all blow up on youtube then girl i will stick with my little 40k because honey no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am but i'm not gonna sit on here too long because girl i will be on live later i will be on i'll probably get on big o later on tonight and we could chat more about this and I'll really get into detail on live. But obviously this is a YouTube video and I'm not going to really go in like how I really want to go in on this video. But come check out my live tonight and I'm going to really tell y'all how, how I really feel and really talk some of my shit then. But don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They will be down below and in the description box. Comment down below what you think of this video. What else you want to see. If you're enjoying Vlogmas, okay? Um, I do have a giveaway coming. Check out my puff and paint video that will be uploaded tonight for Vlogmas Day 7. So I'm filming this on Vlogmas Day 7. I do have a puff and paint video going up later tonight. Um, and the giveaway rules will be in there. I will be having a giveaway. Um, and then I will be doing one at the end of the month. So stick around for that. Make sure you enter into the giveaway. Make sure you stay tuned for that video so that you know all the rules. And I love y'all and I will definitely see y'all on my next one.